Hello, my name is Jesse. My call sign is K4AX, and I would like to do a video on how to set up an ICOM 7300 display. This is a very popular radio, and a lot of people have them out there, and uh, there's always lots of questions about these rigs and how to set them up and use them, and I wanted to make a video because uh, the topic of um, the display and its, and its pan adapter, spectrum display, waterfall, whatever you call it, um, it seems to come up a lot. At least it does for me, and I have a certain way I like to set them up. I like to make them look like a, I don't know, like a lot of SDR programs that you see out there. Um, I've had flex radios. Um, I've got RTL SDRs, uh, R RSP Play, um, or the SDR Play, I think it's called. Um, Air Spy, you know, stuff like that. And the, the programs that those run on, like SDR Sharp or HD SDR, they all have a certain look on how the pan adapter the spectrum looks and um, by default the icon doesn't really look like that so let's go to the band it's got some activity probably 10 I'm sorry uh, 80 meters because it's uh, 10 o'clock at night over 10 o'clock at night now let's go up in the voice portion of the band so we can see what's going on up here let's see and we're going to show the scope and by default this is what the scope looks like looks like we're tuned into somebody there turn that down and we're going to bring the reference level up, turn the attenuator on. All right. Turn that volume down. Okay. So, right now, uh, this is kind of the default way things look like. You got your, your frequency, um, you've got uh, an S meter there showing, and it's expanded out. Shows a lot of detail. I kind of like that. But if you hit the expand button down here at the bottom, you, sh you show more scope, your, your peaks peak up more, um, a little bit more, stand up a little bit higher, and you're, uh, you get more information on your waterfall display there. So actually let's adjust this out a little bit better. Turn the attenuator back off, and we're gonna turn the reference level back down. Signals aren't that bad tonight. Bands are pretty quiet. Okay. All right, let's get back. Let's go into the the scope set menu. So if you long press the expand set button, you get the scope set menu. Very first thing at the very top here it says scope during TX. Um, if you leave this on and when you transmit it, it's going to show your transmitted spectrum, your bandwidth, um, and your your spectrum. If you have it off, it literally just freezes that display uh, and doesn't show anything as you transmit. So I'm assuming most people want to see what they're transmitting, so leave it on. At least uh, I would assume you want to leave it on. All right, max hold. Um, again, it's right now it's at 10 seconds. You've got off 10 seconds or on. And if we go here, again, that's that light blue in the background there that's in the foreground of the, um, or the background of, excuse me, with the signal in the foreground. And as that signal peaks, it shows a max hold in the background of uh, that light blue color. And over time, that will fade and kind of average over 10 seconds. If you go into the menu and you set it to on, that that it's just going to show a continuous max peak, max peak forever, and it's never going to average out, and it will just kind of fill up over time. If you have it off, it just kind of goes away. So let's go back in. Now you see it's off. All right. Center type display, filter center, carrier point center, carrier point center with absolute frequency. So right now we're at the filter center, and as these folks are talking, they're on... Um, 3.865 megahertz. We're tuned into them. Filter bandwidth right now is at 3K wide or 3,000 hertz wide. If you set the filter center, um, the, the this marker to filter center, it's in the filter. It's in the center of your fil receive filter, which is 3K wide. So we're at the 1,500 hertz mark of the receive filter. We're on lower side band. We're on this frequency. The marker is not showing that we're on 3.865 megahertz. It's showing that we're at the center of the filter, uh, 1.5 KCs away from the actual frequency. The frequency, uh, the, the carrier points over here, that's the actual frequency that your, 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 rig, your rig is really on. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna show carrier point center and it shifts over. We're still on the same frequency. We haven't changed frequency, but now the, the display is reflected to show that we're uh, on this frequency. This is our carrier point. 
this is lower sideband. If we were, if they were on upper sideband talking, they would their transmissions would be showing over here in your receive. So, um, carrier point, lower sideband. These are the lower frequencies, and as you get further away from the carrier point, you get into the higher frequencies and your, your higher audio range that you're hearing. So let's go back into the menu, center point type display again. Now we're going to show absolute frequency and then at the bottom of the screen instead of it showing uh, plus minus whatever KC's now we have actual frequency showing at the bottom of the screen. So you can see where what actual frequency somebody's on as opposed to how many KC's away from you they are. Which is kind of nice I guess. Let's go back into the menu. Um, we're going to skip this setting for now but basically it kind of mirrors the center type display frequency. So like when you scroll up and down the band, instead of your marker going to the center of a, um, of a transmission, it's going to the carrier point. Video bandwidth, basically on the waterfall, um, this kind of, you have a narrow and a wide. If you set it to wide, it's kind of like an average in the waterfall. As you see, it kind of, look, if you look over here on the edge um, of the screen, or as these folks are talking, it's, it's just kind of averaging everything out, the spectrum, and then in the waterfall, you know, it's taking those, you know, those data bits or, uh, I don't know, uh, bits on the on the display and just averaging everything out and showing it in a smoother fashion. I prefer to see detail per personally, so we're going to set that to narrow. As you see, you see a lot more detail. And also in the spectrum, same thing. And then uh, we're going to go to averaging for the spectrum display part. So this is the how fast the spectrum refreshes. Um, if you got it really fast, it shows a lot of information really fast, um, but it's kind of hard to really see what's going on. I like to average it. I don't like to go too high. We'll go to the extreme, we'll go to four, and it kind of slows that spectrum display down where you can see it easier. It takes the average of um, each refresh and just puts it into one. Probably like four, four refreshes of the spectrum and, and it puts it shows it in one display. Um, whoops. We'll set it to two, and I don't know, it's, it, it smooths it out a little bit, but it, um, let's go, these folks seem to be active, but it kind of, um, you know, it smooths it out, but it's still showing some information, fast information. That's subjective to whatever you like. So, the next thing up, we've got waveform type. you got fill, and then fill plus line. So right now, the default, as you see, you just got fill and there's no line there on top of the fill. It's just the fill line of this of the spectrum, which is like a white looks like a white color. We're going to change it to lot fill plus line and that will give us the fill and if you it's kind of it may be hard to see in this video. Again, I'm using my phone, it's propped up. Hopefully I won't knock it over. Uh, but there's like a red line there on top of that. So let's change some stuff here. The waveform color uh, this is that fill that I was showing you. That's the off white color. We're gonna we're gonna back that out to just let's just make it black. I like to see just the line. That's what I'm getting at. So we're gonna make that go away. And now if you go back, you just have like a, like that red line. Red is terrible. We're gonna change the red to something that's easier to see. I prefer green because green's easy is very easy by the human eye to see. So you go back. Now we got a green line. And it's just easy to see what's going on. And it just pops. Uh, and then that max hold color that we were looking at, uh, the, or the max hold, you can change that to whatever you like. Um, it, you know, you can change these colors to kind of show something that um, more reflects something that's easier on your eyes. Um, and let's go ahead and turn that uh, wave, let max hold back on, and we're going to see what that looks like. Ten seconds. So there you go. I don't like that combo, but I mean, it just I'm just showing you that you can change it. That's all. So, okay. Um, center type display carrier point. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. We're down here now. Okay, waterfall display on or off. So if you go off, go back here. It doesn't take it in the scope setting of the screen. It doesn't take the waterfall away. But if you go to the menu and you pick another uh, section like audio or meter, and then you hit the scope function, it it doesn't 
it, the waterfall goes away, but you just have the spectrum there. So that's kind of nice. You know, you can kind of, you know, show one thing or the other. If you like a, a, a spectrum display, man, it looks terrible with that red max hold. Um, you know, you, you can get that and you can take the waterfall out and, but still get your, uh, you know, other information at the bottom of the screen without seeing a, a scrunched up display. So max hold off. <laughs> Sorry, that looks so bad. I don't know. I think that looks better. Um, and again, this is all subjective. It's just what I like. I just like to see the information. So let's go back to scope menu down here. Where were we? We're going to put that waterfall display back on just for now. Waterfall uh, speed. So if we go to fast, let's go back here again. As you see, the waterfall is scrolling fast. And, uh, you know, the nice thing is it's showing you information. You see a little bit more detail, clarity in the waterfall. Um, the histogram of somebody's, you know, speech or CW or whatever. You see more detail in that, in that uh, spectrum. And then if you go slow, you get more time. So that, that's handy. Like if something happened, I don't know, 10 seconds ago, it's still going to be up on your screen. If you looked away, you can see that something happened up or down the band in a few KCs away or whatever it is. Um, and it, that information is still there. Mid's a good, is a good, uh, point to be on, I think. So waterfall size, when you expand out the screen, if we go to large, like we're expanded out now, the waterfall display stands up even higher and you get a scrunch spectrum. If you go back in, set it to small. Now you've, we've pushed down the waterfall. We still have it. It's still there. It's still very usable. And now you've got taller, a taller spectrum display. I prefer that personally, um, because when you're tuning around the band, this is what's constantly refreshing and it's easier to see signals to uh to pull up you know to tune into or to listen to that's just how i like it um but you know a lot of times when you're rack chewing for example if you're on a frequency or you're uh you know sending out cq or whatever you know working one frequency um of course a lot of this stuff is subjective to change you know to the situation that you're in so anyway let's go back in waterfall peak color level that will change the color of the uh well it's gonna the, the max peak color the strongest signals are red in the waterfall so that basically changes the level so if, um for example 80 meters at night a lot of signals are strong and uh this number here you probably want it to be higher if we go low As you see, it's, it's turned everything red. If we go back in and we go down like to three, as you see, we're starting to see more detail. Your your background information is starting to show uh, less peak levels. But it, literally, if you look at the signals, everything is a peak of a red. So it's still too much. So let's go down a little bit further. I don't know. Let's, let's try six. Six is more realistic. You're still picking up a little bit of noise in the waterfall display that uh, where there is no signal, it's just um, atmospheric or noise level of your location. But you've got um, a, a nice range of color in the in the in the in the people's signals. And this is going to be subject to change from band to band. I think that this setting may follow you per band, um, but it may actually be different per band. Like um, if you change. On 10 meters, uh, if it doesn't do it now, it, it should. You know, like if you set it to something on 10 meters and when you get move away, it'd be nice if, it, if that setting stuck to that band instead of following you everywhere you went. And, the, you know, and it's nice to be able to change this. Let's say, you, you, you know, you might have like um, a receive only switch in. You've got an antenna that's like low on receive, but it has a low noise floor and you're running preamps and stuff. It's nice to be able to change these settings to have the display kind of reflect what you're seeing. Um, regardless of signal level, or you can change it to show usable information. Watermarker auto hide. So if you're in a scroll mode, um, if it's on, let's see, and you scroll around, oops, let's, let's see, I did it wrong. Okay, so this is the scroll mode where you're scrolling around. You've you've locked your spectrum down, um, per se. But in your scrolling, your your carrier point around to tune into things. When you stop tuning, 
that that marker right here will fade out and as you see it's uh it's popped away it's gone all right i don't like to have that on let's go back to the center okay and i think that's it fixed edges is a whole other video i think so turn that down i think that's going to do it for now hopefully this video will be helpful to somebody and that i didn't ramble too much if you got any questions feel free to ask in the comments below 73